Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with Mr. Stefan Katzenbeiser, Sales and Marketing of Naval Systems of Deal Defense. Thank you for visit, uh, for visit in the FEA, for your visit in the FEA 2025. And thank you for accepting me to have a small talk about a very important thing which is actually uh, a part of uh, Achilles Dome that is uh, uh, a substantial uh, part of our uh, Hellenic defense. Uh, it is the defense against ships. And of course, deal defense has something very important and very high tech to distribute and display to us. So we're talking about the RBS uh, missile, am I correct? Yes, that's right. So thank you for your time and a chance to spend some words about our work and our systems. So here you see a land-based version of the RBS-15 anti-ship missile. It's actually under contract and under production for different customers. Um, regularly we are coming from the ship side to have anti-ship missiles on corvettes, frigates. Now we have it installed on a classical truck. You can operate the systems with two person, driver and weapon control officer. So you have a very low cost and a very efficient way to protect the coastlines against enemy fleets or enemy ships. Um, it's a traditional system. We started a long time ago with the Mark I version, evolved it during the 18s to the Mark II version and evolved it later on in the now under production um, Mark III version. We signed three years ago a big contract with the German Armed Forces, used this chance to make a complete obsolescence management, um, implement some updates and um, key features we learned in the last years. So. The MK3 version now is under production, is completely state of the art, obsolescence free and um, in production. So, the nice part is you have a commonality if you use a missile on your vessels, <coughs> and in this part of land based versions, you can handle the same logistic concept, the same training concept for the operator. Um, you can combine the system easily to have a very low and autonomous version only with a launch vehicle that has the capability to make the complete mission planning, have a connection to the upper command level for mission briefing and you go for this target. Um, <clears throat> that means the crew with two persons can make the complete operation, start the missile, shut down, move the position, so very hard to find and for counterfire. And If we can estimate how fast this happens, I, I mean how fast can uh, uh, the vehicle shoot a missile and of course uh, it decides to live and hide in another place or shoot from another place. How fast is this procedure? Um, since you have the possibility to make the pre-planning of your mission days, months or years before, and if you have the strong situation that you need this weapon system, you can decide between your already planned missions, make the minor modifications, um, fire the missiles and leave the position. Um, from firing the missile to leaving the position roughly two or four minutes. Oh, it's, it's very fast. I was yeah. expecting something more, like uh, 15 minutes. Oh. No, since you only have the RF communication to your upper um, command and control, you have no big um, infrastructure you need. You just have to sink down the missile package, oh, uh, lose a break and go for it. <laughs> it's so, it's so simple. Uh, the, operational, uh, the operational range of the missile is about? Far beyond 200 kilometers. Far beyond? Yes. So, uh, it's a very, a very large number. Actually, it's uh, almost sub-strategic, sub if, I, if, if I say it right. If you have a look to the map about the Greek coastline and place four of these trucks on different islands, you can control the whole sea area. That's, uh, so, 
Uh, should we expect uh, from you to attend in a possible uh, a contest regarding the land part of the Achilles uh, Dome? So it would be an absolutely pleasure. Uh, you have the possibility to handle it in a different ways because the core function is against enemy vessels or enemy fleets, but you also have the possibility to use it against land targets like airfields or um, infrastructure. <coughs> the other very nice part in this system is you have a very deep flying missile lobby above the sea level. So it's a sea skimming. Uh... Absolutely. It's a very deep flying sea skimming missile. So very hard to detect. You can make your complete waypoint navigation around islands or if you have the situation that you have to reach the um, target as fast as possible to make the planning above the island. <coughs> And the other smart part is you have a very, very act or high resolution radar seeker with a very big field of view sweeping about the area. So even if you oper have to operate in a complete GPS denied area, the missile will find the target. If I had to guess, I would certainly guess that uh, the warhead is quite strong because I yeah. see a uh, strong and uh, big missile, am I correct? That's absolutely right. That's a very heavy warhead. So normally it only needs one hit to sink a for enemy vessel. So you don't need four or five hits to make a mission kill or something. If this missile hits a enemy vessel, it's gone for it. Since, um, since the minister has declared that uh, every new uh, uh, procurement would have a, at, at a minimum of 25 domestic production. Uh, yeah. Are you ready to answer to this call? Absolutely. Um, we have some discussions already with local partners, um, starting from canister manufacturing, integration to vehicle, um, <clears throat> later on um, recertification, logistic stuff, repair maintenance function to maybe have a complete um, research facility in country so that you have a complete autonomous part and don't send them back to Germany for repairs or standard um, recertifications. Right. And, and finally, please give us a hint, your favorite part of this uh, uh, exceptional system. Give us what you believe is the most important uh, thing of this uh, weapon system that uh, a possible customer should buy it for him. Uh, we had a lot of experience by training missions, training, firing with the Polish Navy, with the Norwegian Navy, with the German Navy, and all this experience flow into the actual version of the MK3. Um, it's a very strong missile, <clears throat> a very robust missile against jamming, spoofing and countermeasures. So with this system you have really a missile that brings you the success if you need it. Thank you so much for your time. It was hope a you, st you enjoy your stay in Greece and hope to see some of the things more sooner. Okay. Than we expect. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.